Hello and welcome to Pavli. So today in this video, we are going to learn how to create Descara contact from Google Sheets. Now suppose guys, you and your team members are getting the details of new users from multiple sources and you are adding the details of those new leads or users into a Google Sheet. Now you want that all the users whose details or information you have gathered, you want to add one by one all of these users as contact in Descara. So let me tell you, you can actually automate this process. So in this automation, whenever we are going to add a new row of data in our Google Sheet with the user details, automatically with the same details, we are going to add that user and create a contact for that user in Descara. Now, if you want to know how you can set up this automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Sheets to Deskera. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first we have to connect our Google Sheet in which we are adding the user details with Pavli Connect in the trigger window so that every time we add a new row of data in our Google Sheet with the user details, automatically the details of that newly added row will be captured inside Pavli Connect. And this automation workflow will trigger, it will start. After that, using this automation, we are going to send the details of that new user, which we have received from Google Sheet, and we are going to send that data to Deskera, so that we can add that same person with the same details as a contact in Deskera. So let's see how it is done. Starting from our trigger window, in Choose App, search for Google Sheets. Just select it. After selecting Google Sheets in Trigger Event from the dropdown, select the trigger event as New or Updated Spreadsheet Row. After selecting our trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our Google Sheet with Pavli Connect and get the data from there. And to use this webhook URL, we just have to follow the help text given below over here. Just copy this webhook URL from here and after copying it, just go to the Google Sheet in which you are adding the user details. After reaching to the sheet, just go to extensions, add-ons and click on get add-ons. After clicking on get add-ons, we will reach. After clicking on get add-ons, we will reach to Google Workspace Marketplace. And here in search app, we have to search for Pavli Connect Webhooks, P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pavli Connect Webhooks. And as you can see, Pavli Connect Webhooks, this add-on is already installed in my Google Sheets. You just have to install the same add-on into your own Google Sheets account. And after installing it, just refresh your Google Sheets once. This is a very important step. After refreshing your Google Sheet, here you will see under extensions, now you can see that Pavli Connect Webhooks, this option can be seen over here. Just hover on it and click on Initial Setup. After clicking on Initial Setup, you will see this box will appear in front of us. And it is basically asking us three different things. First one is the selected sheet. The second one is the webhook URL. And the third one is trigger column. Now here guys, in selected sheet, we have to select the sheet from which we want to send the new row of data. So it is most likely possible that in your Google spreadsheet, you might have created multiple sheets over here. And the data of a new row from which particular sheet we want to send to Pavli Connect, we have to select that sheet over here. Right now in this Google spreadsheet, I have only one sheet named as sheet one. That's why by default, it has selected sheet one over here. Then after selecting the sheet, it is asking us for the webhook URL. Now here in this field of webhook URL, we have to paste the exact same webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us. Just copy it from here and then paste it over here. After pasting the webhook URL, the next thing it asks us is the trigger column. Now here you must be thinking, what is this trigger column? 
So trigger column is basically the last data entry column of our Google Sheet. For example, in the background here, you can see column E is going to be my trigger column because it is the last column in which any of my data exists. After column E, in any of my column, none of my data does not exist. So I will be entering column E as trigger column. After this, just click on this send test button. Now, when we click on send test button, here you will see it is showing us test data sent successfully. Means the data of the first row after headers. Like in row number one, we have all the column headers and the data of row number two is been sent to Pabli Connect. So let's check it. We will go to a Pabli Connect workflow and yes, here you can see that in this trigger window, we have received some response. And in this response, you can see the details of the exact same row which we have added in Google Sheet. Here you can see the same name of the person, demo user, same first name and last name. You can see the same email address, mobile number and also the same organization. Means the data of the row is been sent to Pabli Connect. This connection is working perfectly fine. Now after this, what we have to do, we just have to click on this submit button over here. And when we click on submit, it is showing us set up configured successfully. This means we have successfully connected our Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. After making this connection, once again, we'll go to extensions, Pabli Connect Webbox, and we have to select this send on event option. By selecting send on event, we are telling this Google Sheet, we are telling this add on that whenever the data in a new row is added till our trigger column, whenever new row of data is added in our Google Sheet, instantly, immediately send that data to Pabli Connect. So guys, the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully received the details of the user which we were adding in our Google Sheet inside Pabli Connect. Now let's move to step two. And in step two, we want to send these same details and we want to create a contact with these details in our Deskera account. For that, we will just scroll down and come to our action window. And here in Choose app, we are going to search for Deskera. Just select it. After selecting Deskera in action event from the dropdown, select the action event as create contact. Now here in this dropdown, you can see two different action events named as create contact and create a CRM plus contact. So if you want to create the contact, if you want to add this user in Deskera books as a contact, you can select this action event of create contact. And if you want to add this user as a contact in Deskera CRM plus, then you have to select this action event of create a CRM plus contact. So I want to add this user as a contact in CRM plus. So I will be selecting this action event over here. After selecting the action event, just click on connect and select add new connection over here. Now here guys, we have to connect our Deskera account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the username and password, basically the login credentials of our Deskera account. So let me enter the login credentials of my Deskera account. And after entering the login credentials of our Deskera account, just click on save. Now when we click on save, we will see our Deskera account will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the name. That what is the name of this new contact which we want to create in Deskera. So we have added the name of the user, the name of the person in our Google Sheet. And we have received the data of the row from Google Sheet in our Pabli Connect workflow in this trigger window. So what we have to do, we have to basically map this response of first name and last name from the responses of this trigger step. And we have to map that data over here in this action step in the name field. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in this dropdown, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Google Sheets. Out of all of these responses, select the response of first name and it will be mapped over here. Then just add a space and from the dropdown, map the response of last name as well. So in this way, whatever first name and last name we are going to enter in our Google Sheet while adding the new row of user details with the same name, the contact will be created in Deskera. After name, it is asking us for the email. So we have also received the email address from Google Sheet. So we are going to also map the response of email from this trigger window responses. Just click here and from the drop down from Google Sheet responses, select the response of email and map it. Then it is asking us for the type. So here in the drop down, you can see two different types of contact. Either we can create a people based contact or an organization based contact. 
So this user, this contact is going to be people's. I will be adding the details of all the people in my Google Sheet. So I've selected people over here. Then it is asking us for the phone. So we will be using the same process of mapping from the drop down from Google Sheet responses. We have mapped the response of phone number. And in this phone number, you can see it's a 10 digits mobile number with the country code, but the plus sign is missing. So I will just manually add the plus sign over here. Then it is asking us for the organization. So from the drop down, let's map the response of organization. In this way, you can basically add all the other details of this new user of this contact in our Google Sheet. And you can get the response of this complete row from Google Sheet inside Public Connect. And you can map all of these details over here into their respective fields, like detailed address, address, segment, and all of these details. The next thing it asks us is the status. So in the drop down, we have two options, active or inactive, that this contact is active or inactive. What do we want? The status of this contact in Deskera. So we want the status of this contact to be active. So we have selected active over here. Then it is asking us for the label. So in the drop down, is it a cold lead, hot lead, or warm lead? So I want the label of all of these contacts to be warm lead. So I'm selecting warm lead over here. Then it is asking us some other details like profile pic, owner, sub owner and account. So all of these fields are not mandatory, are not required. So we can ignore these fields for now as well. Or if you have all of these details, you can add all of these details into the Google Sheet and the map the respective data into their respective fields as well. And after mapping all the respective data, all the required data, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, guys, here you will see we are going to receive a response over here. And in this response, you can see all the details of the user. And also, this is the response which we have received from Deskera. And this response shows that the details of the user which we have mapped over here, basically the user whose data, whose details we have added in our Google Sheet, this person is now added as a contact in our Deskera account. So let's check it. We will go to our Deskera account. Here we are on the dashboard. We have selected the action for a new contact in CRM. So we are going to select Deskera CRM over here. And after coming to the CRM page, let's go to contacts. And yes, guys, here you can see that demo user, the same person whose details we have added in our Google Sheet, that same person is now added as a contact in Deskera. Here you can see the same name, the same email address, same mobile number, and also the same organization. So this means the automation workflow which we have created using Public Connect, we have successfully tested, checked this automation, and this automation workflow is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new row of user details will be added in our Google Sheet, automatically with the same data, that person will be added as a contact in Deskera. So guys, after setting this up, let's test this automation workflow in real time. Right now, after setting this up this automation, I'm just going to enter the details of a new user. For example, this is the name, email address. This is the email, correct email. And this is the mobile number. The organization is, for example, Google. So just now in our Google Sheet, we have added a new row of data, a new row of user details. And we will see as we add these details instantly within seconds, the same person will be added as a contact in Deskera. So we'll go to our Deskera account and refresh this contacts page once. And yes, guys, here you can see that test user, that same person is now successfully added as a contact. Here you can see the same name, the same email, same mobile number, and also the same organization. The same details which we have added in our Google Sheet with the same data, we have added this person as a contact in Deskera. So guys, we have tested this automation in real time and this automation is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pabli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can actually clone the same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pabli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion, and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.